you'll know in a second whether or not you like getting hit. <laughs> and you got to be a sicko to get hit and like it. <laughs> so how did we get here? I suck at fighting. I couldn't hit water if I fell out of a boat. And if I was ever attacked by a wild boxing kangaroo, I'd be knocked out before you could say, Got your hat. Oh. It made me wonder, how hard can boxing really be? And how much training would I need before I could step into the ring for a real fight? So I decided to reach out to the number one YouTube boxer history has ever seen. KSI wasn't available. So I contacted the second best YouTube boxer's brother, Logan Paul, to ask for some advice. Logan hit me back with a super detailed response and my journey had begun. The goal was to train like Logan for 30 days. Speed, power, strength, stamina. I will push my mind and body to the limit. And at the end of the 30 days, I'll step into the ring to put my skills to the test against an experienced boxer. But I needed a coach. And after some quick Googling, I found my guy, Coach Kurum, the silent assassin. Day one, we wasted no time and got straight to the basics. Left hand jab. Four, all right and right hand cross, which makes me an orthodox stance, just like Logan. Now turn your body. Look at the difference. That little bit is all I need. That's how easy you got to punch, that's it. Boom, that's it, no, no big deal. Forget about trying to rip his head off right now. Development. All of the movements were new to me, so it felt quite unnatural and stiff. But the gloves went on and it was time to start throwing some heat. Jack, boom. I don't, don't want to hurt you, you know? Not that way. <laughs> just kidding. Yeah. I soon realized how bad my coordination and cardio was, and the reality of this challenge set in. Everyone's got the skill, everybody's got the fitness, but who's mentally strong, who's got the grit, you know? The pain continued into day three, where I discovered how weak my hook was. I couldn't knock out a mouse with that punch. Better cooks. Hook. Ah. There you go. That's the one. That's the body length. And how fragile my wrist is. Crack your ribs. Oh. Crack my wrist. <laughs> Take note of this moment because it will come back to bite me in the ass as my boxing journey continues. By the end of the first week, I had some of the fundamental movements down. My feet were still slow, but my jab and right were coming together nicely. Two slow mo footage of this falling out of my arm in about 10 seconds. I was improving at a good rate and I started to sense that maybe I could stand a chance against a real boxer. Right here. Oh, right there. Ooh, good. Maybe not just yet. Logan's style of boxing is fairly relaxed. He has great head movement, his hands stay low, and he works the jab. Like myself, he has a long reach, and he uses it to his advantage. If I was ever going to stand a chance in a real fight, I had to start moving my head and using my reach. But just like everything else, I found it quite difficult. Hey, don't worry about it, let's go. Hey, 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 what's that? Body language. Body language, come on. Just testing you. Boom, boom. Jam. Been through some drills now. I think my footwork needs work. I think my boxing needs work. Everything needs work at the moment, but we're improving day by day. My training didn't end at the gym. Day after day, I worked hard to improve my skills. I was taking this challenge seriously. And each day I was feeling fitter, faster, and focused. Well, at least I thought I was. So I woke up this morning feeling a little bit flat, just mentally not on it. My mind was just not right, I wasn't focused, didn't really care that much. Good change the angle, most step back. It's just here today. How are you feeling, you all right? I think it's just mentally feeling good. Yeah, this is where training matters. I'm telling my yeah. guys, you're gonna have down days. Yeah. But them down days are gonna be the best days. Sure. Because psychologically, you're preparing yourself, right, for that day that it could be the biggest event of your life, and you've been there. Mm -hmm. And you've gotta, you've gotta dig deep to get yourself out of that hole. Yeah. You know what I mean? And if yeah. you can dig yourself out of that hole, you just fortify your mind. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Feeling defeated is part of the human experience. We get good at hiding it, and we put on a brave face. But there is freedom found within vulnerability. So I just got the shit kicked out of me. And then Jake was like, come on, keep fighting. And I'm like, 
I've, I've kept fighting before. Ooh. So, I kept fighting. Remember that punch I threw back in day three? Oh. My wrist. <laughs> well, I actually really damaged my wrist. And here I am a few days before the fight, injuring it once again. I'm a bit worried about that wrist thing as well. So I just felt the wrist then go, clearly I'm not fixed. So I'm gonna go see a physio, see if I can get myself healed up. I needed to recover fast. I tried my usual methods of needling and massage before asking myself, what would Logan do? This is the only reason I'm able to work out as hard as I am. I swear to God, this is, it's better than any massages, any anti-inflammatories. This thing, the ice bath is a miracle chamber. What's up, bro? Hey man, how are you? Good, how are you doing? How's life? Can't complain too much, I guess. What do you yeah. want from me? Got you. About 30 days ago, I sent you a message and I asked you, what kind of training do you do? And you hit me back and you said, just boxing, G. So for the past 30 days, I've been doing nothing but boxing. And uh, it's been good. Look, honestly, it's been awesome. But here we are, we're 30 days later. And tomorrow I have my first official fight. Proper sparring match, full force, <laughs> let's go. Um, hit me with some advice, bro. I'm all ears. Okay. I'm proud of you, all right? You did good, man. Boxing <laughs> hard. All right, for the spar, I'm gonna give you two pieces of advice. Number one, it's much easier said than done, but stay calm. Breathe through your nose for as long as you can. It'll, right? Stay calm. It's hard because you're literally fighting another human being mm -hmm. who's trying to beat the shit out of you. Number two, you're tall, you're long. Use the jab, my friend. When in doubt, jab it out. I like that. All day, all day. Oh. Jab the shit out of your opponent. Strong power jab can get you much further as an amateur than you think. You'll know in a second whether or not you like getting hit. <laughs> yeah. You don't know what kind of man you are until you get hit, bro. <laughs> and not. you gotta be a fucking sicko to get hit and like it. <laughs> I guess I'll be finding that out soon enough. I'll report back and and let you know. All the best. Appreciate you, bro. Take care, bro. See ya. Good luck. Take it easy. Knife. Where's that from? I don't know, one of those <laughs> punches. I have one round off. Woo. Two more rounds. Stay calm. Use the jab, my friend.
I want to thank my opponent Skinny for allowing me to put my skills to the test, my cameraman Joey for capturing every moment, and to my incredible coach, Coram, for teaching me not just about boxing, but about life. And Logan, in life, you either win or you learn. And I think you've learned enough. It's time for you to win. All links to Logan's fight against Floyd Mayweather are in the description.